Number nine then, from the 2009 Advanced Tire. Integration by parts to evaluate this expression, exact value of that expression. Well, integration by parts is just the integration of a product. It's the product rule for integration, which is just a reversal of the product rule for differentiation. Now, I'm not going to that. I'll just use this, uh, the pattern for that. So the pattern is simply that. One of these is going to be integrated and one of those is going to be differentiated, whichever one's more convenient in a particular case. Now, it's certainly not going to be convenient to integrate that part. So it's going to have to be integrate that part and differentiate that part. And then just use the pattern that came from that reversal of the product rule, which is I'm carrying integration. So I'm going to integrate first. So X is going to go back up to half X squared and the tan X will just leave itself alone, minus the integral of now that having been dealt with, stays the way it is. Now it's time to differentiate this one. And the derivative of inverse tan is quite a simple pattern. It's just one over one plus the x squared squared, multiplied by the derivative of that inner part, which will be two x times dx. Now it's all to be evaluated from 0 to 1. You can either put a big evaluation bracket around it all, or you can evaluate it as you go. So I could put a evaluation bracket around that part if I wanted, because that's ready to go, but it's just still to be worked out. So what I've got in the next line? Well, I'll start to evaluate this. It says, work it out at 1. Well, when you work it out at 1, you're going to have a half of 1 squared I'll just put the substitutions in. A half, because I'll take a bit of time to fill this down. A half of 1 squared times inverse tan of 1 squared minus, and I'll just clear, clearly be 0 for that part of it, minus, now to start tidying this part up, what I've got here is the integral from 1 to 0 all. So that's going to give me an x cubed on top over 1 plus x to the 4 dx. Then when you're looking at this, you should notice that the top is the derivative or is rather related to the derivative of the bottom. So you don't really need to go through a substitution to sort this out. The derivative of the bottom would have been 4x cubed on top of only got 1x cubed. So that must just be one quarter of, and then it would just be ln 1 plus x to the 4, just doing it by inspection as it's called. So by inspection, I would write this down, I'm going to rub it out anyway, and go through the whole palaver of substitution. But you don't need to do substitution if the top is related to the derivative of the bottom. So it's just a simple log. So that'll be minus one quarter of the derivative of ln one plus x to the 4, and I don't need the absolute value because that can never be negative, so I'm quite safe to put a bracket around that, to be evaluated at 0 and 1. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then what's this part here anyway? So you've got a half of 1 squared is 1, inverse tan of 1, that's pi up in 4, so what I've got then is a half of pi up in 4, and of course the rest was just 0. So that part's pi upon 8 minus, and then this part I've got 1 quarter of ln evaluated at 1, so it'll be 1 plus 1 is 2, subtract evaluated at 0, so it'll be ln 1, so I've got pi upon 8 minus 1 quarter of ln, thinking either way round, ln of 1 is just 0, so it's ln 2, or if you're subtracting the logs, divide their arguments, 2 over 1 is still 2, a quarter ln 2 which would do as the exact answer. So there wasn't really that much working in it. If you recognise this part here, that you could just say, ah, oh, that's just a straightforward log, because that's related to the derivative of the bottom. So you can do it by inspection. So the alternative, if you didn't recognise you could do that by inspection, would be to go through the process of substitution. So substitution would be this. Let u be the nasty, that'll be the one plus x to the four, in which case, du by dx is going to be 4x cubed. If you're going to be changing that, change the limits at the same time, I'll just flip that differential about. So dx would be du over 4x cubed. Then, if x was 0, that would mean that u would equal 1 plus 0 is 1. And if x was 1, 
that means that u would equal 1 plus 1 to the 4, which is 1, which is 2. And then just feed that in. So I'm actually going to go from 1 to 2 of, so I've got x cubed times du over 4x cubed, I took care of that, over u. So I've got 1 quarter, I should really just put minus, 1 quarter of the integral from 1 to 2 of just du over u, which is minus, because all this part here was that pi upon 8, minus 1 quarter of, and that'll just be ln u evaluated from 1 to 2. Here I should really maybe put that in. So that's just going to be minus 1 quarter of ln 2 minus ln 1, which as before is 1 quarter of ln 2. So I've got pi upon 8 minus 1 quarter of ln 2 as before. A bit lengthier, but if you don't recognise that simple logarithm type where the top is related to the derivative of the bottom, so you can do it by inspection, then you'd have to go through that route.